getting real tired of talking. Still going on about this, huh? Pretty sure I already said we want the NCR to back off and let us out. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Yeah, go on. I'm glad you were able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Khans, hostages or not. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? You're right. The Great Khans are free to go. Hey, still got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Talk fast. Yeah, go. Thanks for the rescue. Man, I thought I was dead for sure. Brotherhood.
You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up and hurry let's hope you do uh oh for the brotherhood Skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's.
Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out, somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer. Bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us, as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely, and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died, or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then? Silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, Preparations for the great journey can resume. Is the way clear? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the Great War, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Let me know when the Underground has been rid of the demons. Leading his people to a new land with big dreams and a clean slate. Makes me think of my old mentor. Hey, you got a second? 
The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Great, thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you, seriously. Morning. What's up? Oh. Darn it! I had some spectacular answers coming too. See you around.
Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're gonna survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude, spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail, or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets its attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Our elder before McNamara, he had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes.
What's up? I was young and I needed the money. Let's. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? It's too much. Well, okay, but it's too much. Oh, it's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I wish I had something to give you. I... Wait. What about punching? That's the gift that keeps on giving. I can work on your punching with you, if you like. Show you how to counter like a scribe. All right, put him up. Let's see what you got. What's up? It's a free wasteland. Let's. What's up? My favorite subject. So, you're back! Now, where did we leave off? Sometimes it seems like I spent the better portion of my youth in that old wreck of a building. Me and my hubby, may the man rest in peace, used to scavenge there. <laughs> if it weren't bolted down, you can bet we took it and sold it. A lot of the scrap you see around here is from Repcon, even my favorite chair. The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place, before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Take care now. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist. I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Please handle this information with the utmost care as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area.
let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. Hmm, more or less. Supposedly it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios-1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios-1 for a time. Lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. Okay, what better way to persuade them than to give them a taste of what they stand to gain, right? Maybe the best place to start is to see what we can find out directly from the NCR. Let's head to their OSI office at McCarran. I like the way you think. Welcome back to the Grub and Gulp. See you later.
When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? <laughs> A mercenary, is that it? You won't be disappointed, I promise you. The Office of Science and Industry provides highly competitive benefits. And as an external contractor, your pay would be rather more competitive than those of our regular employees. But we should keep that to ourselves, don't you think? So, how about I tell you what we need, and then you can tell me whether you're up to it. No pressure, of course. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? A realist, we have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the wasteland can yield an endless bounty, and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand? We need only reach out and take it, and for that, I need you. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them, no one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Oh? What might those be? The Office of Science and Industry. It's a rather expansive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters. Medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. 
OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> no. I direct our Eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. Not yet, but our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Or, for a layman such as yourself, not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. We aid some programs the Republic has sponsored involving sharecropper farms in the area. But those haven't panned out too well from what I hear. There have been complaints about the amount of water we're supplying. But those are just excuses for lack of diligence, I'm sure. Directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. You have no idea how difficult it is to provide power to an entire nation. I also have high hopes for our Helios-1 facility. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for the two scientists who are working there. So far, they've only managed to achieve 1% power output. I'd send help if I could spare the personnel. Yes, goodbye. Hello.